Hey Scaredy Cat and Kittens, welcome back to the At Home Film Festival. I'm Kevin Thomas. I say Scaredy Cats because I'm continuing my week-long look at Halloween movies. But don't be afraid, don't go away, because this week is an easy one. It's kind of Halloween light. I am using this week to showcase some funny movies you could watch for Halloween. So if you're too afraid to go to the movies or watch gore and vampires and exorcisms and zombies, this is the week for you. But I'm trying to uncover different movies. So no, I am not gonna be recommending this week Young Frankenstein. We all know and love that movie already. And more contemporary, This is the End is a great funny Halloween movie. But let's take a look at the fun ones we have to offer. Maybe you haven't seen these. Let's try, okay? Our first movie, uh, I wanted to screen this this year. My plan was to screen this right in time to get people to register to vote for the election. Then the pandemic hit. The movie is called President Evil. This movie is so scary. It's about a president that doesn't care about its citizens. It wants to get rid of people with an ethnic background, with diversity. It wants to kill the gays, the transgenders, the blacks, anybody with a color of skin that's not exactly white. This movie is so fearful, yet it seems true. Oh my God. This does seem true. Anyway, the movie President Evil has a man that's kind of wearing an orange clowny skin who goes around literally killing these people that he hoped to in all of his campaign promises. It does sound true still. But fortunately, this is a work of fiction, but it is very funny. I wished I could have screened it live because it's a snort laugh riot and it does kind of replicate the movie Halloween. Actually, let's take a look at the beginning, shall we? To show you how real President Evil is, I thought I'd show you the beginning credits. It's like watching the movie Halloween, but maybe it's real. Oh my God, that music sounds like Halloween, right? Here we go. Isn't that the same font as Halloween? Oh no, but look it, look it. Oh my God, that's not a pumpkin, that's a face. It looks like Donald Trump, it's orange. It's, it's scary. Is it, is that really a scary movie? Or is this reality? Maybe it's real. No! Our next movie is Halloween. Yes, like, you know, weed. So it's super funny and original where two characters, kind of like a Jay and Silent Bob or Bill and Ted, have to go back to the little ho-bunk town because their dad is on death row. So of course, while they're there, crime happens, murder sprees, killings, oh my God. But guess what? A lot of people that die leave behind their weed. So these guys seem to have access to be able to get the weed, enjoy life, toke up a little and have fun. For a super low budget funny movie, it's got a really good cast. I mean, Tom Sizemore's in it. Um, Silent Bob is in it. Or was he Jay? Who was it? Anyway, I think it was Jay. Anyway, he's in the movie. Danny Trejijo, who's in often those Quentin Tarantino movies or anything with a sledgehammer, ax, or murder weapon that you could turn from a screwdriver. This movie is so fun. So you watch it. Watch it with me. Maybe we'll get high, huh? Okay, I haven't lost you yet with too much gore, but stick with me to the end because I have a secret way for you to watch a lot of Halloween and other movies for free. So stick with me. But in the meantime, let's go to Shaun of the Dead. This is kind of a spoof of Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead, all those deads, but it's also funny. Spoiler alert, this would be the one that's got a little gore in it. There's one scene I think really funny, but extremely bloody. So maybe an hour and 12 minutes into the movie, if you can't take it, turn away just for a minute. Or if you think it's coming, it's coming. But this British movie has Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, who turned out to be one of the best writing acting couples we've seen from England. Elevate this super funny movie about a town oblivious to the fact that guess what? The dead are coming back to life and killing and eating them, just like Night of the Living Dead. But boy, what a funny bone. But be careful, they might eat out your funny bone because that's what the living dead do. Ah! I felt a little remiss by not including Mel Brooks as Young Frankenstein in this collection, 
But that's okay, because Mel Brooks was also able to spoof Alfred Hitchcock with his movie High Anxiety. So that's perfect for Halloween, and it's funny. So he pays tribute to Alfred in such a comical way, bringing along everyone's favorite female lead, Madeline Kahn. But you see, he's spoofing. There's the birds. They're not biting your eyes out. They're shitting your eyes out. Oh my God, he does. He does so many moments from Alfred Hitchcock. It's so funny with, um, it, look, there's like a little vertigo going on. He's got everything going on and he makes it funny. And if Mel and Madeline didn't make you worth wanting to see this, Cloris Leachman gives an amazing performance as Nurse Diesel. She's got so many quotable lines that we could probably just watch her aspect all day long. I love this movie. It's super fun. What a great thing to do for Halloween. Oh my God, dial in for murder. They're all here. Everything's here. No wonder Mel Brooks is a master of cinema and comedy. Anyway, come on, join me. Let's watch together High Anxiety. All-star cast, funny movie. You'll laugh till you die. You'll die. <laughs> oh, there's our nurse Diesel. Color is important for the well-being of the mentally disturbed. Those of us who pay attention to shows on Hulu, you will probably have seen what we do in the shadows. So you're going to say, Kevin, what on earth are you doing that TV series in your film festival? But did you know it was first a movie? That's right. And if the movie wasn't good, why would they have made a TV series? Did you ever think of that? So yes, the movie was good. Actually, it was great. A similar story and some of the same cast, but it's written and directed and co-starring Taika Waititi, who is a really talented person. You should always pay attention to that name. He just won an Oscar last year for Best Screenplay for Jojo Rabbit. But this movie is very fun about vampires. It's done documentary style, so it's a little like this is Spinal Tap meets The Office, but it shows vampires need humans during the day to help protect them and keep their life flowing because they have businesses to run, actually, correct? Anyway, very, very funny movie. A little gory sometimes, but those are fate of gore. You could just think that sometimes just cover your eyes like this just for a minute. It will be short-lived and you can move on. It's not as scary gore as others. I did promise this to be the lighthearted Halloween week. Okay, this movie Severance came out in 2006. It caught me off guard because um, I wasn't expecting it to be a comedy. Severance um, actually seemed like a movie that just came out called The Hunt, but it's about a company that wants to go on a team building experience. So they rent an area where they can hunt each other down and play games, but you know what? <laughs> These games are real they don't realize that they got thrown into an area where people really are hunting. You hunt, you gotta run, you gotta out clever your hunter. It's a nail biter, it's thrilling, it's got some almost gory scenes. If you're not, if you're afraid, you still can make it through this. You just go like this once or twice. But I really enjoyed Severance, you will too. But let's not get Severance from this film because we still have one more, and then I'm going to tell you about a way to get free movie screenings. Yes, yes, yes. I'm ending the week on a high note. Super excited by this one. Baby Jane, the drag remake of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. I've hinted around this movie ever since I started this festival, but I never suggested see it. You know why? Because you couldn't. You couldn't find it on any streaming device for quite a while. But here TV has changed that. In their Halloween celebration for the month of October, they have put Baby Jane on their platform for you to watch. And guess what? Information is below. You could watch it for free as well as other movies for 30 days. You can catch all their Halloween classics, including Hellbent, which is one of the sexiest Halloween movies I've ever seen. I've said before, if I'm ever gonna be killed, it's gonna be that guy with a hot body. Billy's follow-up to this, Hush Up, Sweet Charlotte. There are so many great choices, not just for Halloween, but overall content for representing the LGBT community. So get here for free. In the meantime, let's watch almost a scene-for-scene -scene remake of whatever happened to Baby Jane, but in a funny way. No blood, no guts, just horror, comedy, and camp. Can't wait to watch this with you. Super excited it's now available. You will be too. You watch. In the meantime, you come back next week. You subscribe now. Hit the alert button. Give me comments for other movie ideas. I love to bring movies and showcase them, and I want your help. So come back, and we will continue Halloween next week. In the meantime, let's check out Baby Jane, shall we? Ooh, girl.